the worst truck I've ever seen. I found this truck on Craigslist off of like five photos up in, what was it called? Sa Sagal? Sag Sagley? Siegel. Siegel? Siegel, Idaho. Somewhere in Northern Idaho, bordering Canada. We flew in yesterday and it's freezing out here. Our goal was to drive to Wyoming and pick up a Bronco, but it's about to snow and we gotta avoid the snowstorm. So our new plan is head south as fast as we can, get to warmth, and hopefully celebrate my birthday in two days. No está haciendo frío, güey. <laughs> we bought it last night and it was starting to snow, so we booked it an hour south. And in the one hour we drove it, there was no brakes, none of the gauges were the poles to the right, there's a weird knot coming from the axle. So supposedly the motor's new, the transmission's new, but he moved three times, so obviously the receipts were lost, as always. Uh, he basically made it a crawler. With it having no brakes, he rolled it. He said he rolled it from wheel all the way around onto the wheels again. So that's why the cab's all beat up. And it's rough. And cold. Ooh. So this was his hunting rig. We got dual cases and a lot of surface rust. We got a custom sheet metal moon roof. It's a nice option. This is the main reason I bought the truck was just for these SR5 seats. It came with a ton of extra parts. I'm not gonna go through them because it's too cold. I don't think it came with enough keys. Got like 15 of them. It is way too cold to fix anything, so we're just gonna hit the road. We got, we got about 1,400 miles to go and two days to do it. Let's go. The storm is right on our tail. La yelera. Is that the way? Ten.
Status update, things are going pretty good aside from a wasp nest in the cab. We're leaking oil faster than we can put it in and we got square tires. With the 529 gears and these square tires, max speed is about 55 miles an hour. So it's gonna be a long trip. We finally made it to Oregon. Ermiston, right? Ermiston? Ermiston. And I finally warmed up. Warm enough to deal with this oil leak and warm enough to deal with this wasp nest and try and rainproof everything. What's in there? Receives. Receives. Ah. The valve cover bolts were super loose, so. I tighten those up and hopefully it leaks a little less. At one quart an hour we would have gone through probably five gallons of oil. Simon? Felipe is getting blasted by ice cold air and wind noise can ruin any good road trip so he's gonna try and seal it up. <laughs> and we're off. Let's roll. Let's roll. Mm -mm -mm. Taco truck for the win. Javi's tacos. Primera comida en dos días. Sufriendo. <laughs> <laughs> Pero quítale el pan primero. Ahí está. ¿Dónde estamos? En Baker. 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 We're in Baker, what state? Oregon. Oregon. And it worked. We haven't dropped any oil since tightening the valve cover bolts it's 32 degrees out and we're getting 18 miles to the gallon so now that we're saving oil we're burning through gas 20 more hours Woo. goal tonight boise huh? boise 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 Maybe Twin Falls, maybe, maybe Boise. Depends. Depends on this heaping pile of Toyota. That's keeping us warm. Felipe is going to drive today. 850 miles to go. Hopefully we'll make it to Las Vegas today. We'll see what happens. Come on, let's hit this. Open the door. Our window doesn't roll down. Hello. Hello. Good. Deputy Moore Sheriff's Office. Where's your license plate, man? <laughs> we just bought it. Yeah. Got a bill sale for me? Yeah. Where'd you 
you buy it from? Who? Where'd you buy it at? Uh, Northern Idaho. Oh, nice. I think it was called Sagal or Sagal. Seagull. Seagull. Do you got an idea on you? Who bought yeah. the vehicle? I bought it. Okay, so it's your vehicle. You got a driver's license on you? Yeah. Where are you guys headed? To Arizona. To Arizona? Yeah. You bought this in? Uh, Northern Idaho. In Northern Idaho. Yeah. yeah. Why? <laughs> it's actually a pretty rare truck. Is it? Yeah. They only made it for half a year, so okay. I, I had to have it. All right. That's, uh, I've never heard that before. Right? Yeah. That's, that's pretty far to pick up. A, you went all the way up there. We flew in, bought it, and now we're driving back. To drive it back. Yeah. How many miles is it on it? Uh, on the uh, 185. 185? Okay. Cool. Plus 1,400 that we're about to do. All right. You guys don't have any drugs or weapons in the vehicle, do you? No. It's no. awfully suspicious. That's <laughs> what I say. And then you got Arizona license. It's just weird. What's in the totes back there? Tools and extra parts. Yeah. Okay. All right. You can check it out. No, it's, it's my <laughs> birthday weekend, so I decided uh, to. It's his birthday today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys seem pretty legit to me. All right. <laughs> so, let me run you. I'll get you yeah. out of here. Okay. It definitely wasn't a speeding ticket. We're cruising at like 50. <laughs> no. Nunca me ha parado. Ni en México? En México, sí. <laughs> <laughs> en México hasta la cárcel me han llevado, no mames. All right. All right. Do the stuff, man. Sure. You guys happen to have luggages, anything like that? Is that what this yeah, is back here? Yeah, we got two bags back here. All right. You want to hear something? What's up? It's the first time the police pulled me over in 15 years here. Here? Yeah. First time. It's my first time in 15 oh, yeah? years. Well. Put a license plate, you would have never been pulled over. It's his fault. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what. I've never. That's crazy, guys. I, I understand it's a classic. I get yeah. that. You know. It's go my with, birthday weekend. I figured, you know, let's do something crazy. Go go out and yeah. grab this thing. Fly to the only thing Canada. that's missing is right hand drive. All right. Yeah. You're wrong there. We're getting yeah. a left hand. Is it like a Helix? Is that yeah. similar? Very yeah. similar? It's an 85. So it's like the American Helix? For only half a year, they had EFI and the solid front axle. Okay. Plus extended cab, SR5, and AC. So cool. it's like probably half a percent of these Toyotas were made like this. Yeah, one. yeah. So you're into Toyota vehicles? Yeah. And, yeah. I got three more at home, so okay. I kind of really? them. Yeah. All right. That makes more sense. Yeah. You should start with that next time. <laughs> All right, that would make more sense while you're driving, flying out, picking <laughs> up, and driving back. All right, yeah. that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to keep you guys here on the interstate longer. You guys have right. a safe travel right. back home. Thank you. Right, take care. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Philippines is where we at? We are, we just passed Jackpot, Nevada. And we are headed to Elk Village? No. Nowhere. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Wow. So we thought we fixed the oil leak, but there's just a bunch of fuel getting in the oil. So the oil level is actually going up. So we're just going to drain all the oil, replace it. The oil is super watered down and the further we go south, the colder it gets. So we're just going to change it here while the sun's still out and then hit the road. And the goal is to make it to Las Vegas tonight. Yay. We don't have a catch pan, so eh? we found that. But it has frozen something in it. <laughs> I think we spilt some. It's so black. It's so warm. Eight hours to Vegas. ETA is probably 11 p.m. And then it'll finally be warm. Status update, fuel is super cheap, 20 miles to the gallon, 7 degrees out, probably 5 more hours to Las Vegas. Magic time. Agua. 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 Ajá, hielo. Hielo. Barely. It's water? Yeah. It's still water. <laughs> <laughs> Estamos. In Las Vegas, baby. We didn't make it to Arizona for my birthday, but we made it to Vegas. <laughs> nice. And it's even better because my brother's here. California. Nope. 
Vámonos, güey. Está bien caro aquí. <risa> Hey, where's your license plate at, boss? We just bought it. Where at? Idaho. Idaho? You just coming from Idaho right now? Yeah, it's my birthday weekend, so we flew into Idaho, bought this, and we just road tripped it back. The thing made it all the way from <laughs> Idaho, huh? Only at 50 miles an hour. It has off-roading gear, so I can't go. I run out of gear at like 50. You made it from Idaho all the way here, and no one stopped you without a license plate? No, we plate? got pulled over. Oh, we you got pulled over. <laughs> yeah. We got pulled over in southern Idaho. You guys just friends, or? My brother. Brother-in-law. Brother -in brother-in-law. Brother That's a long trip, bro. I'm surprised it made it, to I'm be actually, honest with you. I'm shocked. We, we do the same. We think the same thing, man. It's going to make it one more state, one more state, yeah. one more state. How long did it take you guys? We, start, we got there Wednesday morning. We flew in, mm -hmm. and we've just been driving ever since. He's not arrested. He's stretching. No potatoes here. <laughs> Have you gotten a ticket or a warning from anybody on the... Nope. How many times were you stopped? Just once in Just once? Southern Idaho. Southern Idaho? Okay. Anything illegal on the truck at all? No. Nope. What's in the tubs in the back? One is tools, the other two are spare parts that came with it. That came with the truck? Yeah. Okay. It was raining so we bought tubs and put it in there. Okay. Or is that one, the one that's unzip tied? Would you open it for me so I can see? Yeah, that's the tools one. Yeah. Pulled over again. One more time. It was my turn. Right, Felipe? Yep. You had a homie in Arizona? Of me 1600 miles. 1625. Today's Friday at. Today is Saturday. Today's Saturday. 9 p.m.? Yeah. Saturday. So. Four days. Four days. Because we we're going to go get a Bronco in Wyoming and drive back both vehicles. Yes. But that'll be next time. For sure. I hope not. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's been fun. Oh, well, what's good? Thank you for inviting me, Ryan. I really, really appreciate it. And enjoy. <laughs> enjoy that travel. Good deal. It was nice having you.